Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, be doers of the word. Hallelujah. I hope that you all told your loved ones that you loved them. When I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of the day. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. We cannot do anything on our own, not even breathe. Hallelujah. I hope you all are saved and you're giving your life to Christ Jesus. If you haven't, I don't know what you're waiting for. You need to repent daily. You need to repent and turn from your wicked ways. You need to receive the Lord today. You need to have that personal relationship with him. You need to know the Lord. Hallelujah. All righty. Well, you read the Bible. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to him. He'll hear your cries and he'll answer. He'll forgive you for your sins, but you got to cry out to him. And you got to cry out to him in sincerity and truth so that he will hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory be to God. And today, hallelujah, you tell Father God thank you when you wake you up in the morning. Tell him thank you at night when you pray before you go to bed. Tell him thank you when you're eating. Bless that food and give him give him thanks and eat before you eat that food. Tell him thank you for everything. He provides for us. He protects us. He takes care of us. Tell him thank you. All right? With that being said, hallelujah, today we're on Psalm 126. Celebrating the harvest. Hallelujah, Lord. Before we do that, we'll say a prayer for children of all ages. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Father God, for this day. Thank you, Father God, for every day. Thank you, Father God, for our parents that you send to us, that loves us. And nurtures us and takes care of us. Thank you, Father God, for the job. Thank you for the food and the clothes on our back. Thank you, Father God, for you providing everything that we need. And it's not everything we want, it's everything that we need. <laughs> you know what we have need of, Father. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Father God, for all of our loved ones and even my our siblings, too. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, and we love you. We love you, Father. And that's in Jesus' holy, precious, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen indeed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Psalm 126. Celebrating the harvest. It seemed like a dream when the Lord brought us back to the city of Zion. We celebrated with laughter and joyful songs. In foreign nations it was said, the Lord has worked miracles for his people. And so we celebrated because the Lord had indeed worked miracles for us. Our Lord, we ask you to bless our people again and let us be like streams in the southern desert. We cried as we went out to plant our seeds. Now let us celebrate as we bring in the crops. We cried on the way to plant our seeds, but we will celebrate and shout as we bring in the crops. Amen. Amen. God's willing tomorrow on Psalm 127. Only the Lord can bless a home. Amen. Ain't that the truth? Glory be to God. You all tell your loved ones that you love them, and I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Many people didn't open their eyes this morning. Count your blessings, please. Tell them all about Father God, any and all. Tell them about Father God, who gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. And remember, treat others the way you want to be treated, with love and respect. Father God is pouring out a spirit upon all flesh, so many of you youngsters might have something to say that you maybe you didn't tell your parents or what have you. If the Lord comes to you and tell you, give you a dream or something, or he get vision, whatever it may be, and he tells you to speak up, please speak up. Don't be ashamed. God loves you. He loves the little children, you know. You know, we all have to be like little children to go <laughs> like little children to get into the kingdom of heaven. See? So God loves you. Please don't hold back. If Father tell you to say something, please tell, please say it. Tell it to your parents and don't be ashamed, okay? You be bold as a lion. I'm bold as a lion. I don't care what people think. <laughs> yeah. So you be bold, okay? God loves you. He loves us all. I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. Remember, Father God says, Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love the neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Remember that. You must do that. That is not up for debate. It's not up for discussion. You must do it. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest and oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.